everyone desires for a beautiful and cute romantic series that end on a beautiful note. Welcome to Anime Dynasty, and today, we bring you top 10 romance anime with a happy ending. Please give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content. So, let's get on to the list. Starting off, we have Kokoro Connect. Five students at Yamaboshi Academy realize that there are no clubs where they fit in. They band together to form the Student Cultural Society, or Stucks for short. The club consists of Taichi, Iori, Himiko, Yui, and Aoki. One day, Aoki and Yui experience a strange incident when, without warning, they switch bodies for a short period of time. As this supernatural phenomenon continues to occur randomly amongst the five friends, they begin to realize that it isn't just fun in games. Now forced to become closer than ever, they soon discover each other's hidden secrets and emotional scars. Next up, we have Warakoi. Love is hard for Otaku. Narumi runs late for her first day of work at a new office. She makes a promise to herself that none of her co workers will find out about her dark secret that she's an Otaku and a Fujoshi. Her plan fails miserably, though, when she runs into Hirotaka, an old friend from middle school, and he casually asks her whether or not she will be attending the upcoming summer comic <laughs> Later that night, the pair go out for drinks. After Narumi complains about her previous boyfriend breaking up with her because he refused to date a Fujoshi, Hirotaka suggests that she try dating a fellow otaku, specifically himself, and she agrees immediately. <laughs> Next up on the list, we have Gekan Shoujo Nozaki-kun. Chiyo Sakura is a cheerful high school girl who has fallen head over heels for the oblivious Nozaki. Much to Chiyo's confusion, when she confesses to her beloved Nozaki, he hands her an unfamiliar autograph. As it turns out, the stoic teenage boy is actually a respected shoujo mangaka, publishing under the pen name Sakiko Yumeno. A series of misunderstandings leads to Chiyo becoming one of Nozaki's manga assistants. The anime follows Chiyo as she strives to help Nozaki with his manga and hopes that he will eventually notice her feelings. Take it from me, cause I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. I'm the one. Next on the list is Tonikaku Kawai. On his way home one snowy evening, Nasa Yuzaki's eyes fall upon a peerless beauty across the street. Bewitched, Nasa tries to approach her only to get blindsided by an oncoming truck. Thankfully, his life is spared due to the girl's swift action. <laughs> Refusing to let this chance meeting end, he forces his crippled body to chase after her and asks her out. Surprised, the girl accepts his confession under a single condition. They can only be together if he marries her. Jenna! Now, we have Kimi ni Todoke. Sawako Kurunuma is given the nickname Sadako and misunderstood to be frightening and malicious, despite having a timid and sweet nature. Longing to make friends, Sawako is naturally drawn to the cheerful and friendly Shota Kazahaya. 
黒沼待ってた Through each new encounter and emotion she experiences, Sawako believes that meeting Kazehaya has changed her for the better. From their first meeting, Sawako has admired Kazehaya. Little does Sawako know, her presence has also changed Kazehaya. What are you Next up, we have Lovely Complex. 172 cm tall Koizumi is much taller than the average girl, and Utani is much shorter than the average guy at 156 cm. Love is unusual for Koizumi and Utani. To add to their plights, their crushes fall in love with each other, leaving Koizumi and Utani comically flustered and heartbroken. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely Complex follows Koizumi and Utani as they encourage each other in finding love and become close friends. But could love ever bloom between the mismatched pair? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room Hi Tabun Shigaimasen Watashi no Kimochi now we have real life. 27-year-old Arara Kaizaki bounces around from one job to another after quitting his first company. Taking it without a second thought, Arara awakens the next day to find that his appearance has reverted to that of a 17-year-old. Real life follows Arata's struggle to adjust to his hectic new lifestyle and avoid repeating his past mistakes, all while slowly discovering more about his fellow classmates. Next up on the list, we have Suki Gakure. In their final year of junior high, aspiring writer Kotaru Azumi and track team member Akane Mizuno end up in the same class. Though initially complete strangers, a few chance encounters stir an innocent desire within their hearts. <laughs> However, though love is patient and love is kind, Kotaro and Akane discover it is not always straightforward. Despite the comfort they find in each other's company, heartache and anxiety come hand in hand with pursuing the feelings in their hearts. With the uncertainty of how the other truly feels as well as the competing affections of those around them, the road ahead is unclear. Next up, we have Gosik. Kazuya Kujo is a foreign student at St. Marguerite Academy. On a day like any other, Kujo visits the school's extravagant library in search of ghost stories. However, his focus soon changes as he becomes curious about a golden strand of hair on the stairs. The steps lead him to a large garden and a beautiful doll-like girl known as Victorique, whose complex and imaginative foresight allows her to predict their futures, now intertwined. With more mysteries quickly developing, Victorique and Kujo, bound by fate and their unique skills, have no choice but to rely on each other. Number one on our list is Clanad. One day while walking to school, Tomoya passes a young girl muttering quietly to herself which catches Tomoya's attention. He soon discovers the girl's name is Nagisa Furukawa and that she exclaims things she likes in order to motivate herself. Nagisa claims they are now friends, 
but Tomoya walks away passing the encounter off as nothing. However, Tomoya finds he's noticing Nagisa more and more around school. Eventually, he concedes and befriends her. Tomoya learns Nagisa has been held back a year due to a severe illness and that her dream is to revive the school's drama club. Claiming he has nothing better to do, he decides to help her achieve this goal. <laughs> 